What's good, YouTube? It's your boy Ari. Welcome back to AM Island Vibe. Thank you for tuning into another reaction video. Hope you guys are doing good. I'm doing all right. Can't complain. Today, we're going to be doing a reaction video to most impressive mega projects in the world. You know, anybody who know me, I like I like I like engineering stuff like this. My favorite thing is I like bridges and skyscrapers. Yeah, I like those better. Those are my mag mega projects. Like you know, we require a lot of engineering. That's what I like. I like seeing designs and I'm building. I like, but that's freaking cool. You know what I mean? Hopefully one day I'll be able to have my own. That's one of the goals. Have my own mega structure that I design with my name and everything on it. It's gonna be dope. But if you guys are new to the channel, smash that like button, subscribe, comment down below in the comment section. Anything you want to see me react to? And I'll try my best to get to it. With that being said, let's get into it. Advances in digital technology and construction engineering have made it possible for crazy to initiate bigger and more complex projects. We went looking for the largest and most exciting mega projects that are currently under construction. We'll take you on a tour to see Japan's high-tech maglev train, which holds the world speed record of 603 kilometers an hour, the largest green city being built in the Middle East, and China's ambitious project that covers over 60 countries. Before we explore these mega projects, please take a moment to like this video and subscribe to Top Luxury. Let us know in the comments below which mega project you enjoyed the most. I'll tell you which one I enjoyed the most. The Chuo Shinkansen Mega Project. Wow. Japan is one of the world's most developed countries, known for its innovation. Today, the most efficient way to move around Japan is by train. Their train system is simply one of the best in the world. Alongside a great safety record, they are always punctual, as well as comfortable to ride in. To have such a network is impressive, considering most of the country go to Japan. is covered by mountain ranges. Bucket list. Japan is also a pioneer when it comes to high-speed trains. As it recovered from the devastation of the Second World War, it came up with its first high-speed train network in 1964. The first line was built to connect two of Japan's most important cities, Tokyo and Osaka. Shinkansen is the word used to describe bullet trains in Japan, and it literally means new trunk line. The design of the bullet train, with its needle-nosed aerodynamic shape, is iconic and one of the most recognizable pieces of Japanese engineering. When they launched, the trains could reach a speed of 210 kilometers per hour. Over the years, the bullet trains have been getting faster, and the travel times have been getting shorter. A 350 kilometer trip from Tokyo to Nagoya using a bullet train currently just takes an hour and 20 minutes. What? However, that's not fast enough for a country where time is everything. That's why Japan wanted to cut the time by 50%. What? Their solution was to build the Shuo Shinkansen Mega Project, a new train that will use cutting edge maglev technology. What exactly is a maglev train? Ah, uh, that is not, I know that already. It's like, I know a little engineer myself. It's like, it's not physically, well, as you can see right here, it's not touching. I guess they use magnets. I'm not, I just, I just saying like I know the top of my head. They use magnets to repel and just shoot itself, I guess. Basically, there's no tracks, for sure. Maglev is short for magnetic levitation. Yeah. yeah. A maglev see? train works by using two sets of magnets. One set to repel and push the train up off the track, See? and the other set to move the elevated train ahead. This means okay. that the train can take advantage of the lack of friction I, I was to right. a normal operation speed of over 500 kilometers per hour. Yes. You could say it's a floating train and an amazing feat of engineering. It currently holds the world record of 603 kilometers per hour with the experimental maglev train LO series. It has a much higher acceleration and deceleration performance compared to conventional high-speed rail, making it stand out from the competition. The construction of the Chuo Shinkansen began in 2014 and is estimated to cost almost $90 billion. 
The commercial service between Tokyo and Nagoya is due to begin in 2027. And the trip, which currently takes over an hour and 20 minutes, will only take 40 minutes. There are also plans to extend the line Nagoya to Osaka by 2045. Here's something interesting about Japan's high-speed rails. Over 60 years of operation, they have had zero fatal accidents, making them one of the safest forms of transportation in the world. Okay. The new maglev train service is designed to maintain that spotless record. That's something to look forward to if you plan to visit Japan. I do. The Lusail City Mega Project. The Lusail City Mega Project is found in Qatar, a small desert Qatar. country in the Arab Peninsula, with a population. What did they just say? Wait, hold on. Found in Qatar. That nigga just said Qatar. Bro. Don't man people. It's Qatar. A small desert country in the Arab Peninsula with a Qatar. population of less than 3 million people. Qatar. Harsh climatic conditions force the nation to seek other ways of sustaining Go itself. On. Fortunately, Qatar has the world's third. <sighs> My Arabic, sorry. Sorry that you guys get to hear this. Third largest natural gas reserve and is one of the largest exporters of natural gas. Because of its low population and high revenues from oil Ooh. and gas, it's considered to be the richest country in the world today. Yeah. In order to anticipate the need to house a growing population, the idea for Lusail City was born in 2005. Located along the coast, the city is 23 kilometers from the capital, Doha, and is designed to house almost a half million people. Although the idea was there since 2005, the project really took off in 2010 when Qatar won the rights to host the tour. He said Qatar again. 2022 FIFA World Cup. They made history, becoming the first country in the Middle East to be selected to host the soccer event. Lusail City is a futuristic project. As part of Qatar's Vision 2030, it's being built with the desire to create a modern and ambitious society. It's the first green city in Sorry. the country, and the largest development that I has been to, undertaken in the... The reason why I'm so passionate about them saying the word correctly is because I want to visit Qatar someday. Middle East to date. Although it stands as an independent urban center, Lusail will be connected to Doha by subways and state-of-the-art train lines. Developers expect visitors to be attracted by the city's marina, one of the biggest in the region, as well as its shopping malls, business districts, artificial islands, and amusement park. No artificial it will also have funny, residential man. buildings, hospitals, schools, mosques, and 22 hotels built to international standards. As a World Cup host, Lusail City will also have one of the biggest stadiums in the Middle East. Let's take a closer look at the stadium. Road to 2022. Damn. The construction of the Lusail Iconic Stadium began in April 2017 and will be strategically located in the middle of the city. The stadium's centerpiece structure is designed to mirror the ancient Arab craft of bowl weaving, and the saddle form roof floats Ooh. above the concrete bowl. As one of the basic requirements, it needed to have a highly efficient energy saving system. This is important because Qatar's climate is intense and the building will help to cool the players and fans when the games are taking place. Without it, you would simply not be able to watch a game or play it for 90 minutes. To round off its eye-catching design, it also has a great community space with room for shops, athletic and education facilities, as well as a health thing, man. Designed to hold 80,000 people, the stadium will cost $45 billion to build. While the project is impressive, Cutter has received some criticism. Though. They this nigga again with this Cutter. Sorry. Have been faulted for alleged corruption that happened during their selection as hosts of the 2022 World Cup, and for the country's mistreatment of migrant workers, which directly concerns projects like Musail. The International Trade Union Confederation estimates that 4,000 workers will die in Cutter by 2022. Why? 
These problems could lead FIFA to cancel the tournament in Qatar, but that remains to be seen. With a wide range of facilities built to the highest international standards, Lusail City will be one of the most important cities hosting the main stadium, teams, and fans during the 2022 World Cup. Its existence isn't necessarily dependent on any tourism boom the tournament would bring. Because of its focus on sustainability, it's expected that the city will continue thriving beyond the tournament. China's new Silk Road mega project. China has been the fastest growing economy in the world since the 1980s, with an average annual growth rate of almost 10%. This transformation has influenced every aspect of China's society, culture, and economy. As a result, China has become the world's largest economy, as well as a leader in manufacturing and trade. However, the recent slow growth of China's economy and rocky trade relations with the United States of America have pressured the country's leadership to rethink their growth plans. In 2013, Trump. China's president, Xi Jinping, announced the new Silk Road that is also now called the Belt and Road Initiative. It's a brand new trade corridor, which consists of a global infrastructure network of roads, railways, air, and seaports. The land routes, labeled the Belt, and the maritime routes, labeled the road, involve countries on three continents and more than half the world's population. You could say it's the largest infrastructure project in modern history. So, the inspiration for the project came from the ancient Silk Road, an old trade route that once ran between China and the West during the days of the Roman Empire. It's how Oriental Silk first made it to Europe. China has taken the knowledge from the past and revived it in the present to protect its future relations with other nations. And they're going big, with the project altogether estimated to cost a whopping $900 billion, signaling a new era of globalization. Still ambitious, in January 2018, China Putin. another... That's my boy Putin. Still ambitious, in January 2018... This is my boy. Wait, no, I'm all set. I am American. Team China my boy announced Putin. another road to the belt, the Polar Silk Road. Here, China wants to develop new shipping routes in the Arctic together with Russia. This means setting up energy and infrastructure projects in the Arctic Circle. However, Arctic resource extraction remains difficult and expensive due to the harsh climate, limited infrastructure, and distance to manufacturing centers. Despite the project's ambition, the chilly conditions there might hold back its progress. It's pretty smart. Which project was the most impressive for you? The most impressive? Mm -hmm. let, let us know in the comments below. If you enjoy our content, remember to press the like button. Also, don't forget to subscribe to Top Luxury for more video. Okay, that's the end of the video. M to me, the most impressive, it gotta be that China one, the last one. That China global shipping route. You gotta think about that. AK engineering is cool. The, the train is cool. For using levitation and magnetic energy to move objects, that's cool. Infrastructure of complex buildings like that, U shaped crap, I, that's cool. But it, is, it, it can't even touch everybody coming together Russia, China, um, you can see Africa, not Af all Africa, like certain places. Everybody coming together and saying, hey, we're going to spend $900 billion, almost a trillion dollars. I feel that they're going to go over budget and they're going to hit a trillion dollars. I'm pretty sure. I uh, mean, that's pretty cool if you ask me. You know, it's like, it's one, and no, and like, Russia don't speak Chinese. Ah, oh, damn, bite my tongue. Russia don't speak Chinese and Chinese don't speak Russian. All they know is, hey. Dollar dollar bills, let's go make this money. And I respect that and I applaud both of them for putting their personal shit aside and come together. The US now, the US, y'all gotta tighten up and y'all gotta come along with Russia and China and say, hey, we might have our beef, but let's put this beef aside so we could make the world closer and we can benefit off each other. That's all it is. But 
If you guys enjoyed the video, smash that like button, subscribe, comment down below in the comment section. Anything you want to see me react to, let me know and I'll try my best to get to and react to it as soon as possible. With that being said, until we meet again, remember the world is yours. Peace.